Hey guys, how's it going? It's RazorC92 and today we're doing a video on pyography. So guys, we've got our custom t-shirt, which is our boots and arms. <laughs> Which is Buds and Arms, and then this side, which is NCS, which is my company, um, and I see then on the back we've got Razor C92. So today, guys, obviously we are doing about pyography. So first thing we need, guys, is obviously our pyography pen. This is the thing I use most. It's the pen. So it's the thing we're going to be talking about today in this video. So the pen gets quite hot, guys. We've got you can use so many different. Oh, that made me cringe then. You can use so many different attachments and stuff like that. But this is the attachment I love to use. So this is the attachment I only use. Unless I'm doing some shading. Um, I might do some shading and stuff like that. If I need to do shading, um, then obviously I'll change attachment uh, and stuff like that. With the pen, you've got different kinds of pens. This pen is just the, a basic pen. So this pen, obviously, it's a 30 watt pen, so it's quite good. It gets real, real hot. Trust me, I burnt myself. I handled the pain anyway, um, but I burnt myself and it went through my skin. Um, <laughs> it literally matted through my skin. And then I was also um, doing one on the Xbox and I'm sort of matted through the Xbox as well. Um, I just like to see how far these go, really. But you de get different kinds of pens, like you get oil pens, you get tons of pens, like the pens are amazing, it's literally the pens are amazing, you keep sorting my head out guys, it's like literally a mess, um, but yeah, what you need to do with these ones, obviously you can get portable pens and stuff like that, or you can take these off and make them USB, you can get USB ones as well, um, but they're obviously a lot more expensive, um, but with this one obviously we're going to plug it in, we're going to leave it for 10 minutes, and then we are going to... Um, do some uh, pyrography. Two thousand years later. Right, guys. So we just put the pen in. That's now literally heating up. Ten minutes time, guys, and it will literally be done. So today we're going to be doing it on a wooden spoon. Now you can do it by freehand, or you can draw in pencil. It has to be pencil. You can do it in pen and stuff like that, but it's better in pencil. You can do it freehand, but in my case, I draw it in pencil. So I don't know if you can see that guys. So what I've done is I've drawn it in pencil and then I'm going to go over it with the pyrography pen. The reason why I do that guys because I think it's better when you draw it in pencil. That way you never go wrong or anything like that. You like tracing it. It's like a tattoo is where they draw a tattoo on you. You know, put it on your arm and then they go over it with a pen. Like the tattoo pen and stuff like that. Uh, or needle, you know. <laughs> but yeah, basically it's like a tattoo except on wood. And obviously you don't go in. As fast as it just burns. So that's it. That's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to show you guys a little bit how we do it. And we'll do it in time lapse, guys. Um, and then obviously then we'll finish it up. We're showing you. But we're, doing, we're hoping, we are hoping this video don't go too long for you guys. But obviously um, we do want this video to be awesome for you guys. So support us in this video, guys. We absolutely need it. We need to hit a fast and subscribers, guys, for an awesome giveaway. And we need your support, guys, for these amazing videos, okay? Um, also, guys, whatever videos you want to see, just comment in the comment box below, guys, okay? Yes, behind you can see my heat press and my t-shirts. I make my own t-shirts. I've got loads of clients, guys, for the t-shirts as well, um, which is amazing. So if you ever want any t-shirts, hoodies, phone cases, mugs, anything like that, guys, just get in touch from me and I could be sure to make you one. If you want some for your YouTube channels, want some for your business, gyms, whatever guys, we can make them. Um, so yeah, we've got all the equipment here. At the minute, obviously we're doing crafts um, and then there'll be more to show. So while we're waiting for that to heat up guys, we'll be back when it's heated up. So uh, see you in a minute. Zombie apocalypse. <laughs> guys so the pen is finally heated up let's get it going here it comes literally sorry about the quality so I'm just gonna put my leg up 
ain't got much room to play with because obviously it's in the plug and the plug's like all the way over there. Um, we need to sign the plugs more better. So you ain't going to be able to see properly guys. So all we're going to do is we're going to time lapse this in a minute. We're just going to show you what we have to do. So don't touch it. All right, try use it as a pen. But because it's really hot, you don't really want to go past here. Otherwise, you're just going to burn yourself. Yes, all this heats up. Okay. But it also heats this up as well. Okay. So you want to get steady. You should do it on a desk or stuff like that. But because I've been doing it for ages now, guys. And I know what I'm doing. And if I burn myself, I'll just stop in the pain. So I never go wrong. So all you do, really, is you just... Make sure you have a steady hand, because if you don't have a steady hand, just put it on there, and you just draw it on. All you're doing is going around it. You don't have to keep it on there for so long, guys, because it's so hot, it just goes already. Okay? So all you're literally doing is going around your design. That's all you're doing. That. So you could do it that way. You could do it in dots. So, if you can see here, guys. You can just literally do it in dots, like that. Obviously, different tips have got different. I can't touch it. Sometimes I touch it, so I need to be careful. But different tips are different, guys. Okay, so you can do all sorts with different tips. Um, obviously, with this tip, the reason I like to go use this tip is because look, I'm holding it there now, guys. You shouldn't, but I can handle the pain and the burn. That's how I like to hold it. Um, I don't mind getting burnt, by the way, while I'm doing this. Because it's all about making a lovely art, basically, and giving customers what they want. See? So, I know you can't see as much, guys. We're going to finish this off. We're going to put it in time lapse, and then, guys, we will show you the end of the finish. <laughs> bad hand now <laughs> it's burnt not just that guys like literally the way I was holding the pen like very oh that's so bad like I'm stiff like bones are killing me like the way I hold the pen never hold the pen like that but because I had no desk or anything it's the way I had to hold the pen just to get it all perfect and nothing like that so who wants to see the finished result come on guys who wants to see who wants nobody Nobody? Seriously? Okay, I'll show you. I'll show you. It is the finished result, guys. It looks a lot more better than it, guys. That's because it's burnt. So we only burn for the first layer or two. That's how I burn anyway. You can go deeper if you want to go deeper. Um, but the reason... It's a little bit hot. Um, the reason why I burn, like, just the first layers to the second layer, is just to make it have a nice finish. So that way, um, even if you're using this or not, you're never ever going to wreck it. Now you can go deeper, um, but with a spoon, if you're using the spoon, I recommend not going deeper. Um, just because you're going to have um, it all indented inwards basically. And it's, it's going to look out of proportion. But if you just want to frame it or anything like that, um, then you can have it deeper. It's literally up to we're gonna we're probably gonna put something on this side. We're gonna probably do so it be freehand though. Um, but it's literally up to you how you want it, guys. Okay. Um, my clients they tell me how they want it. If they want it deep, if they don't want it deep, if they want the first layer, second layer, they tell me how they want it, and I do it to how they want it basically. Um, I always do it to say my customer wants it uh, four layer down. I'll do it four layer down. I'll make sure it's four layer down. So you can tell the difference. I've done. Let's have a look at a close up at the bottom there. So if you can see through the close up at the bottom there, it's like a little more indented inwards. And the reason because I left the pen on tiny bit longer than the others, um, and the same with that bit up there as well. So basically, this just it it looks perfect, guys. Like literally it looks nice, and and it looks like you know proper clear and everything like that as well. What it says, guys, it says forgive inside. Um, so, pretty cool. Guys, I can make jewelry boxes. We can burn on any kind of wood, guys. So, if you want to burn on wood with varnish, wash varnish wood, 
I recommend removing all the varnish first with sandpaper. Um, don't ever burn on varnish. You don't want to burn on varnish. You can varnish it afterwards, but don't ever burn on varnish. Just remove the varnish first with sandpaper. Make sure all the varnish is gone. Same if you get wood which is painted. Remove all the paint first and then burn onto it. Um, then obviously paint it after, varnish it after. If you want to, we could frame this, we could varnish this if we want to. All my clients tell me if they all my clients tell me if they want it varnished or painted or anything like that, which is fantastic. Um but yeah, so we got like quite a fair of things. We do pyrography, um, we do all sorts of crafts, obviously we do t shirts, um morgues, etc. We do photography, we do do quite a few things guys, okay? We do um promotional videos we do the lot guys okay i need a shame but yeah if you want to see any more guys just comment in the comment box below i'll be sure to make some more incredible stuff for you guys i've got a jewelry box doing next so if you want a walkthrough with that guys i'll give you a walkthrough with that um we'll be doing more of these videos obviously we're doing them a lot better guys this is just the first initial video of the instructions how we do it it comes with instructions the pen if you want instructions but all you have to do is literally plug it in and go um, it don't give, tell you what the tips are for you need to know what the tips are you need to research it if you don't know how you're doing it I prefer researching it first um, if you guys it would be a lot better you'll know what tips is for and stuff like that the reason I use that tip is because how I like to do it guys is I like it all to be like that so that's why I use that tip and then if I want to shave uh, if I want to shade in all the others I won't use that tip I will use any other tip um, I'll go through the tips with you in another video as well guys um, but this is that video I hope you do really enjoy this guys as much as I love making it for you anyway guys we are hoping to get a thousand subscribers guys come on you know come on let's go subscribe 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 and if we hit 500 likes on this video guys then guess what guess what I will do an epic giveaway of some pyrography pens for you guys plus some t-shirts so let's get going anyway guys this has been an awesome video i hope you did really enjoy it you know what to do now guys smack that like button and subscribe to wolf up and we'll see you in my next video